So there is a trend, I think it's mostly a Linux universe trend, that YouTubers reckon you to use Blender for video editing. And I believe it's really a Linux thing because on Linux right now, there isn't any decent video editor. So eventually it's legit to reckon Blender. Besides, I'm using Blender myself. However, Blender was never meant to be used as a video editor. So there are a couple of issues doing so. And by far the biggest of those is that we can apply composite nodes directly on the video strips. Okay, let's start a new project and show you exactly what I mean. And here I'm using Blender 4.0 beta, but it hasn't any difference than Series 3, which isn't exactly a great thing. Um, ready to go. And first, uh, we need to import our assets, which is a GNOME demo and a green screen with me talking. No need for the audio channel, so we remove those. And I will also make the rendering range much larger to fit the clips. Now, here is a screencast with the terminal preferences on GTK4. And what we want to do is to add this green screen over. In any typical video editor, the process would be to add a keyring effect to the clip, possibly, and a mask if needed, and that would be all. But that's not how it works in Blender. On Blender, we need to create a new scene. Let's call it green, and it's recommended to use the same settings, for example, the same frame rate with the main. Next, we re-import our green screen. And if you haven't used Blender before, keep on mind there isn't some kind of assets bin. Blender uses directly the file system instead. This time, I will set the range to the clip time because later we want to import this scene to the main. Then on composite view, first enable the use nodes, remove the layers input, shift and A, input, add a movie clip, and open and select the green screen. Connect that to composite and um, you may wanna add a viewer to actually see your changes. So output and viewer and connect that to the image. If you don't see it, make sure the backdrop is enabled. Um, now it's time to add a keying node and Blender has a couple of chroma nodes we can use, but a keying is fine for most of the situations. Then just set the key to green background, which for this video is a perfect green without shadows, so we don't need to play with any other options. Then we'll go to our main scene uh, and video editing. We don't need this and add scene and put our green screen um, that Blender will place inconveniently in the first available channel. So. Oops. I think something's wrong here. Let me go back to composite. Okay, we need to connect the keying to compositing. So if we go back, it should work. And by the way, navigating between screens is such a pain, isn't it? Anyway, it's almost done. But what if we want to remove that cube? We have to go back to green screen. Um, and switch to Movie Clip Editor. Select the clip, swap from Tracking to Mask, and add a new mask. A square mask that I could just scale. Not sure why I'm moving points, but it will work either case. And back to main scene. And back to sequence viewer. And, um, oh God, I think I forgot something essential. So back to green scene. And compositing. And we basically need to add a mask node. Select our mask and connect it to garbage mat. And now everything should be okay. So back again to main scene. 
and video editing. And all done. Well, not entirely done. In reality, we just getting started. The problem now is that Blender won't proxy scene clips, which means we can't really preview our video because the playback is like four frames a week. And even if we enable the frame dropping, it won't go dramatically faster. Not to mention in this particular voice over case, we want to sync with the audio, so frame dropping isn't a choice. Speaking of choices, there are a couple, a couple of plugins most specifically, at least I know two of them, but none works pretty good. One is the ad rendered strips, which is a faster method than the other, and I will put a link to YouTube description if you want to try it. With this enabled, there is a new option to render a strip, any kind of strips including a scene strip. But first, it won't render transparency, so you need to hack the code to make that work. And second, it takes long time, time that actually locks the whole UI because it uses Blender Renderer. So those are basically the two huge problems with using Blender as a video editor. So if you have a 10 minutes video with 40 strips and you want to load it with effects, good luck. Meanwhile, composite editing per video strip is by far the top requested feature on VSE component. But for that to happen, the video sequencer of Blender should get rewritten from scratch. Not sure, but I can't see that on roadmap. But what I can see is only a few pull requests on source code regarding the video editing capabilities. Imagine that on Blender 4, there is only a new audio equalizer, a new clips retiming UI, a new filter that creates a cartoon effect from photorealistic images and some performance improvements. Those patches comparing to REST Blender activity, which OMG is so insane, but anyway, the VSE patches comparing to REST are like invisible. So why to use Blender after all? Two reasons. Reason one, because it's the freaking Blender and as a content creator, you're gonna need it sooner or later. And reason two, because there isn't really an alternative, not in Linux, not anywhere really. You just can do so much with Blender and Blender plugins. To shortly share my experience with moving to Blender, I believe the most important thing is to understand that you must to readjust your way of work coming from a traditional video editor a lot. You have to realize you need to do things differently. You need to do new things. Don't try to copy workflows from Final Cut Pro, won't work. In the end of the day, screw video editing. It's all about 3D and game engines. And the grease pencil is absolutely awesome. And most obviously, the GTK4 terminal comes with a brand new UI for the preferences that is now a single page, which means it will also work for smaller screens with not much of an effort. Although it doesn't look quite nice and it isn't much convenient for PCs, 